Town of Dream Team, if you are looking for a bargain in RV park logs, you have come to the right place. We are here again today in Westover, Alabama, looking at three RV park models that a private seller has for sale. So without further ado, we're gonna go through this one. This one is a Clayton. Now this is a 2019 model, it was purchased in 2020. So it has two years worth of use, somewhat part-time really, to tell you the truth. The owner had these on the property and used them for different reasons. Guests coming over, stayed in them for a while while they were getting other work done on the property and then used one of them as an office. But Tammy's touring you around the living room. She took you outside. You saw the vinyl clad porch with the vinyl rails. I mean that. It's vinyl clad wood with vinyl railings. It's got the Trex deck. That's a seven foot six inch porch. And yes, I think it was got a ceiling fan, right? No. No, good place for a ceiling fan. Smart siding. Smart siding. Outside. Okay, smart siding on the outside. This is a Clayton made in Addison, Alabama. 2019 model, as I said. This one is called the Alexander. Yeah, Alexander. Now, they have the same floor plan in 2024, but they've changed the names of the models. We were, we were at Clayton the very day they changed all the names of the park models. They changed them from over time many, many times. But anyway, this one has a nice electric fireplace, built-in section for your wide, wide, wide screen TV, if you'd like that already pretty wired you got a window above that slides open and your mitsubishi mini split above that this living area has is a little smaller than what i would say is eight foot eight for me to tammy and width wise let's do the width 11 foot so it's 11 foot frame 12 foot frame actually probably because of the walls. But the good thing about this one, you have a bar that hangs over, what I used to call the hangover bar. I'm trying to quit saying that. But you can put up to three stools here if you really want. That access in here to your uh, cabinet and there's your, I don't know if you can get down there, but there water is- Water heater in there. Yeah, the tankless water heaters under there. So common place that they put them uh -huh. in these homes. Ship lab here on the inside and countertop is your Formica rolled countertop, whatever you want to call it. The front door has a upgraded keypad entry with a um, French door style. This French door is five foot, five foot French door. And you get a little bonus. If you remember the, well, well, I don't know if we did, but you got a pet door here. There is a little bit of pet door dam pet damage in this home that you would have to fix up. Again, these are used. The uh, dog wanted to get out, so he he messed up that. Uh, that's really nothing. easy fix. That is fourteen dollars at Lowe's, and you just cut it to length, and it just slides in and slides it's out. It's the door seal. Yeah, it's the door seal. I've replaced that many times when my dog chewed it up. So anyway, you got your uh, linoleum floors. You, this home has a loft. You've got a metal set of stairs with wood treads. We'll go up to the loft later in the video. We're gonna come back this way. We do have a little bit of paint damage here. Nothing that a little bit of what I call plasty wood. If you ever go to Lowe's Home Depot, one of the best things you can buy is plasty wood. It's wood that's got cement and all kind of plastics in it. in it and it's plastics and basically you can shape it and form it to any shape you want i use it all the time and once it dries you can paint it you can stain it you can do whatever you want to with it but anyway coming into the kitchen u-shaped kitchen we've got uh nice tall cabinets one thing clayton doesn't skimp on is your cabinet space they give you the tall cabinets and they give you plenty of base cabinets you've got a Let's see if I can tell you what this is. This is a two foot, two foot, 24 inch sink with the pot scrubber, pot filler, whatever you want to call it, faucet. Uh, again, it's definitely pot, a pot filler. Pot filler. I don't know how it scrubs anything. <laughs> when, you, when Tammy cooks, 
Oh. And I have to clean the pots. What on earth? I'm gonna tell a little secret about Tammy. Here's how she cooked. Oh, we should cook dinner. And you look at the clock and it's 10 minutes to dinner. So she turns everything on high <laughs> to make it fast. So then there's all this gunk on the bottom I gotta clean up. Anyway, just kidding. She's a great cook. Exposed two shells here that uh, have the galvanized piping. These are neat for putting cups and little things you wanna display. You got a fridge in there. Over under refrigerator, you've got a shelf on top. They've thrown in a couple little baskets for you. You can put your detergents and stuff up there. This one, too, has an Electrolux um, washer dryer stackable unit in it, which you guys tell me. We had a debate about Samsung appliances on the, another video. You tell me if you've used Electrolux. Tell me how those are. Clearance here through this hallway. Let me make sure that's working. Two foot five inches, so that's 29 inches, plenty of room for a wheelchair. Okay, you wanna go left, you wanna go right? Let's go right, my left. Right here in this home, when you buy it new, this is a bunkhouse, this is a bunkhouse home. There are two metal bunks that go in here. The folks that own this house, that are selling it, the private sellers, they chose to remove this. Now I didn't ask them the reason, but there could have been any number of reasons. Number one, they don't have kids, don't need the bunks. But what can you use this space for without the bunks? You can always go buy you some bunks at Target or Ikea or whoever sells furniture, rooms to go, and put them back in here if you want it. But this makes a great space for a couple different th things. First, think of it, this is three foot wide, three foot four inches wide, and it's a little over six foot long. It's like six foot six inches long. This be a great space for a desk office space if you want it for that or my lovely wife came up with this idea this would be great for a banquette for a dining room space you don't need the bunks don't have the kids turn it into a dining room space put your little banquette in here and you can eat and have plenty don't have to worry about eating at that bar you don't have to worry about figuring out how to put your furniture configuration in the living room so you can have a little table you got your table back here where it's a little quiet. You got a and it's sunny. Sunny light, and you got one coming in and keep your legs warm in the winter. Whatever you want to do. Now Tammy is standing in the bathroom, and we're going to do a dosy -si do, and she's going to pan around really slowly as we talk about this bathroom. Again, your same for Micah countertop carries over. You got your ceramic sink. You got a cabinet over the toilet. Again, the toilet is elongated, but it is not chair height. It is a standard height toilet. You got an exhaust fan, and you've got two pot lights here, one over the shower and one over the vanity. <clears throat> and it comes with a mirror. And you got, of course, a cabinet under the vanity. This shower, again, I'm gonna assume, this is a five foot shower, believe it or not. Huge shower with two seats. And again, drywall inside the bathrooms. You've got a pocket door here. It's the five panel pocket door. And it needs painted. Needs a little paint. Touch up, that is. Touch up, because it's catching it's on the rim. Scratching, yeah. Bit. Rubbing a little bit. But I'll let Tammy come on out of the bathroom. We'll go back to the bedroom. And again, I really like this idea. I kind of wish Clayton, if you bought one new, Clayton could opt out of this and just leave this space open. Or put a bank in. We're going to talk to Clayton folks and say, hey. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah. Because you got a loft. If you got a couple of kids coming up, grandkids right, coming up. Right, so you don't need the bunk. Put them up in the loft. You don't need right. the bunkhouse. Now, this, this door. Or if you really need extra closet space, wouldn't that make a fantabulous closet there too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could do anything with a the closet there. You could build in a closet or you could... Just put your closet rod up there. And it would have plenty of light, backlighting, so you can really see your clothes, yeah, right? exactly. That's a lot of storage space there, too. So there's three uses for that, guys. We're, we ain't charging you for ideas. <laughs> but this door is uh, 29 inches wide. Plenty of room for a wheelchair in this one. And it's a pocket door and as well. again, same pocket door. And I don't like these latches, guys. I've told you that in plenty of videos. So you got to push in and it pops out, and then you pack a pull on it. But I think they've stuffed something in there and secured it for that one, so... When it moves Transport. Around, it, it's okay. But anyway, second head unit for your mini split in here, your Mitsubishi. 
So you're gonna have plenty of cooling in the bedroom and the front. You got a ceiling fan in here. I believe that's a Hunter ceiling fan. Not 100% sure. You got four pot lights in here and smoke detector, of course. You've got your uh, tongue and groove look ceiling and in here in the bedroom, you've got drywall and not your ship lap that's elsewhere. Let's go over the size of this room really quickly. This room is eight foot wide and from the closet doors, eight foot. So that's an eight by eight bedroom. And it is set up already for your bed to be this way with the headboard over there with the window above it, two lights for nightstands with switches. And we've got your panel box here, hidden behind this little cabinet door. And this is 200 amp service on this home. Reason it's up to 200 amp is because of the two head units for the mini split. Over here, as you, we've shown you this configuration in many, many homes. You got a space here, you can put a television set, or if you want to use it for a little desk with a stool, you can do that. But you do have some chest Or a room. coffee bar. Or a coffee bar in your bedroom if you want that, because there's a mm -hmm. plug in. Chest of drawers here. These are not soft clothes. You can put the little, little you can buy those little things to quiet that down a little bit. The little sticky things or you can put the hinges in yourself they're not that expensive we talked about that in the video you've got closets flanking this chest of drawers this side has upper and lower closet rods and with a shelf on the top this is two foot one inches wide and you're going to have two foot three inches deep which i really like that i've told you that a million times Make me a closet at least two foot deep. Let's look at the other side. The other side, the door has a little damage to it. And that's probably because it rolled a little bit when it was being transported, but this little edge is... Maybe it whacked up against the other door. Yeah, you can see where it chipped off. That's not a big deal. Maybe, you can actually just know. paint that and not even notice it. It just gives a little more rustic look. Again, it's the same size. It has the upper and lower. Oh, that's nice. Upper and lower. Plenty of clo clothing space in this one. So yeah. you don't really need that banquette area over there that could be a perfect banquette for um, a closet. So. Nope. And now we do have the cathedral in the living room area. Your loft is over your bunk and your... Bathroom. And the cathedral is also here in the ba the bedroom as right. well. Cathedral in the bedroom, cathedral out here in the living room. And lower... Like ceilings here. Ceiling here because you're locked. Right. And this hallway has two two pot lights. And I, while we're here, as soon as Tammy takes that shot, doo -doo -doo, that. <laughs> while we're here, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to pause the video right here and put a floor plan so you guys can look at the floor plan. Actually, I'm not pausing the video, I'm just putting the floor plan up. You guys can pause the video if you want to study the floor plan a little closer, give you dimensions and things like that so you can see how many square feet. We're under 399 square feet because it's already part model, made to ANSI 119.5 standards. Private seller, Central Alabama, as you saw in the introduction. Frigidaire appliances. This one does not have a dishwasher. Nope. So if you buy this home, as I always say, you're the dishwasher. But I'll make a deal with you if you buy this home. I will come to your house once it's set up and wash your first load of dishes personally. And Miss Tammy will dry them. <laughs> yes, we will. We will, guaranteed. So if you want to buy this home, you can get in contact with us, 50 plus life 360 at Gmail, or you can contact the owner themselves directly through their email. If you buy this house, we'll even buy you lunch. Yeah, we'll buy you lunch. But we'll put their email right here and we'll put a link to the other park model that they're selling here and then they'll have a second park model a third park model which is on we'll put the link here as well so you're gonna they've got three for sale as we said in the introduction now next thing we're gonna do before we close out this and tell you the price we're gonna take you up to the loft and guys buy this home you get a bonus mattress i think i'm not sure i'm not speaking for the owner but i'm using it while i'm here we're in the clayton lofts clayton does the lofts nice as we say and they've got two egress windows on each side. We've got four pot lights, plenty of electrical outlets up here, and I'm sure behind me somewhere there's a space you can hook up a television. You've got the safety rail along the sides. And if I remember correctly, let me double check. 
Your eave sides are two foot seven tall. The central section is three foot eight tall. And this loft is the same width as the house, house whatever I said before, 11 foot seven inches. And I believe it is right at eight foot or nine foot. Yeah, nine foot this way. Plus you get the little landing where Tammy is sitting. They give you carpet in these lofts, which I really like because you don't want to be crawling around on hard floors. And I've always said this, great place for, to store your kids, great place to put extra storage you don't use, great place even for an office. You know, I've talked about the short furniture. Now I'm, I'm a short guy, I'm five foot four, five foot three on a good day. I've got a few inches of clearance here over my head. Eight inches and a half clearance right here. Um, and I'm sitting on a mattress. So you could put a low chair up here, like one of those little seats, those little recliner seats you get for the kids to play video games. You can get one of those and put up here and get you a table, saw the legs off of it, put your computer, do your work up here. But again, this is the loft of the Alexander. Private sellers selling these homes. Carpet doesn't even look like it's being used up here. Very nice, very nice home. Um, if you're interested in this part model, oh, if you're interested in tiny homes, RV part models, mobile homes, things like that, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and ring that bell, ding, 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 so that every time we put a video out, you get notified. But I'm gonna tell you the price now. If you want this home, it is here in central Alabama. As we said in the intro, you gotta bring cash and transportation to get it off the lot and figure out everything on your own, but we can try to help you if we can. You buy the home, tell them Mr. Chubby and Miss Tammy sent you. And this home, as is, where it is, Thanksgiving 2024, right now, first come, first serve, $80,000 deep discount over this home new. Now I'm going to probably put some information in the description to tell you what this part model is called now in 2024 because Clayton has changed the names as we've talked about, but you can look up the retail on a 2024 one. And here you just get one that's been slightly used, needs a couple little things, touches up a paint and this and that, and you got a good home. You got a good part model. Great for a lake, great for Airbnb, great for in the woods, great for wherever you want it. Um, but if you're into RV park models, you've been wanting one, now is the time to get one at a deep discount. With that said, I think I'm done talking. I've got one more home from this private seller to get over there and get filmed. So you guys, be sure to contact us or contact the owner directly if you're in this. You got anything else, Tammy? Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.